Hello and welcome to learning how to use the MiniStar pressurized thermo system. When we're making bleaching trays, retainers, or mouth guards, this is the workflow that we're going to be following. First step, make sure that the pressure valve is open. Right now, this is in its closed position. It's got a lock. It has a lock that prevents it from being open. So to unlock it, you lift off the latch and allow it to be open. Once it's open, the pressure gauge goes from zero to any number. Now, with all of our models, we want to make sure that the material gets to a certain depth beyond the teeth. So we normally mark a line. If you've done this enough times, you don't have to do this, but if you haven't done this more than 10 times, please mark each time. You want that line to be about five millimeters beyond the gingival margin of the teeth. You could probably go slightly less on the molars. On the lingual, same rule applies, five millimeters beyond the gingival margin all around. This is the line that you do not want the rice to be beyond in setting the, um, the next step. So here we have a bed of rice. If it's low, add more by all means. There's plenty of it. It's cheap. It's a dollar a kilo. The whole point of the rice is to cover the extensions beyond that black line. So I'll do it this way so you can see exactly how the rice is supposed to go. You could sweep that rice with a variety of thing, variety of tools including your fingers. You could use a wax knife or a paintbrush. So you can see now the rice pretty much goes just beyond those black lines. Next thing you want to make sure is that there's no foreign objects lining the metal because that's what's going to prevent the other part from fully seating. Now to turn the machine on there are two switches. You put both of them upwards. One, two. So by pushing up it activates the heat. Oh look, the heat lamp is activated. Give this a good minute or so to get red hot and then the timer will start timing. <laughs> um. Alright, look at that beautiful dip. Mmm, ooh, it's hot, yes. Okay, so now that we're ready, down it goes, nothing's happening. Oh, we have to pull the lever. Oh, noise, oh my gosh, so scary. Don't worry, nothing's gonna explode. Let it push for a good 30 seconds. 30 seconds has passed. Now, how do we stop the wind gusting? All oh, right. All right, the wind has stopped. Now, it's stuck. Wait, let's unlatch it first. All right, and then, oh, it comes off, but wait, the material along with the model is still stuck on this part. So let's put it back. We'll give it this guy the twist. The heating part comes off. Now we've got a perfectly thermoformed um, appliance. All right, now that it's been formed, a whole bunch of rice is going to come along with it. Just take the entire tray to the other side, do your best to not drop rice grains on the floor because um, the nurses will get mad when uh, they have to vacuum that shit up. Alright, so to start trimming, we use a heated we use a heated knife. The way we heat the knife, you can see that the um, torch doesn't have a spark, so we get our lighter and try not to burn the place down. Now the flame is on, you get the tip of the knife, heat it hot, and start cutting along the line that you've drawn on the model.
Once you're ready to make a move, turn off your flame. Make sure all the mess is contained on the tray or on top of the garbage bin. So we'll proceed to peel the outer bits trimmed away off the trimmed model. And there you have it.